Hello students, welcome to our class of Automata. In today's class we are going to learn how to convert a milli machine to a Moore machine. Now we have already learned what is a milli machine and what is a Moore machine and how they work. And today we are going to learn how to convert one given milli machine to a Moore machine. Now this is our given milli machine as we know that uh, in case of milli machine uh, the output depends on which state you are going on like uh, in the first case if uh, we apply 0 over Q1 then it will go to Q3 state and our output will be 0 and whereas if we apply 1 over Q1 then uh, it will go to Q2 state but output will be 0 and in case of Q2 if we apply 0 uh, output will be 1 and it will go to Q1 and if we apply 1 over Q2 then uh, it will come to Q4 and our output will be 0 and uh, like this now uh, this is clear to us that it is a milli machine now we are going to learn how to convert this to a Moore machine now to start uh, we will first analyze uh, which is our starting state now this is our uh, starting state that is Q1 uh, so we will do we will just write down Q1 here and then we will see uh, if we apply 0 over Q1 then where we are coming we are coming to Q3 okay now in this given table we will see uh, in every situation that means whenever any present state is coming to q3 state then what is our output like in this case we are uh, coming from q1 to q3 and we are getting 0 and any q3 q3 and here is another q3 uh, for from Q4 we are coming to Q3 and we are also getting 0 so we are getting only Q3 0 pair here ok so we just uh, write it down Q3 and our output is 0 now if we apply 1 over Q1 uh, then we are coming to Q2 and our output is 0 again we will analyze is there any Q2 Q2 yeah here is a q2 if we apply 0 over q3 then it will come to q2 but here output is 1 but in our first case uh, output is 0 so we will divide this q2 in uh, two part or in two state rather uh, one is q20 where our output will be 0 and one will be q21 where our output will be one okay so here we are writing q20 and our output is zero now our new uh, next state is q2 but uh, we have already separated q2 in two part one is q20 another one must be q21 so we are going to define rule of q2 uh, but uh, not directly q2 rather we will write q20 okay now uh, we just write q20 now if we apply 0 over uh, q2 then we are coming to q1 now again see uh, q1 and 1 and here is another q1 from q3 to q1 if we apply 1 over then we are also getting 1 so in both case our output is 1 q11 and here also q11 okay so we just simply write q1 and output is 1 and what is our uh, next state? if we apply 1 over q2 then we are coming to q4 and our output is 0 okay now is there any occurrence here here is another occurrence q4 but here we are getting 1 so uh, different output so you must split up your q4 st uh, state in two state <coughs> one is q40 uh, another one will be q41 so we just write down q40 and output 0 in this case now once we define q20 we must also define q21 and it is a very simple step because what you have to do you just uh, copy everything that is in q20 uh, in q21 
just see we just write q11 q400 and we just write q11 q4010 only the state is different here is uh, q20 and q21 now we are going to define q3 now in case of q3 if we apply 0 it is coming to q2 and our output is 1 very good so we will see uh, now uh, q21 so we have already defined that q21 means uh, q uh, q2 and output is 1 means this state must be q21 and output will be 1 so we just write down q21 and 1 and 1 now we know that in case of 1 we are getting only 1 so we just write q11 okay now uh, there is no any other state now we are coming to q there is no new state yeah very good now we are coming to q4 now we have already split up uh, q4 in two part one is q40 another one is q41 so first of all we are going to uh, declare or define q40 here is q40 now if we apply uh, 0 over uh, q4 then we are getting q4 and 1 so that is our q41 state and our output will be 1 so q41 and 1 and if we apply 1 over q4 then we are getting q3 and our output is 0 now as we know that uh, q3 has only one state so it will be q3 and 0 now once you have defined uh, q40 then you must also define q41 now we write q41 it will be just duplicate of q40 the only the present state will be q41 okay done okay now we have already passed out the top part now what we are going to do is that we just copy the table that we uh, made uh, last time and this is our uh, milli machine and we are going to newly defined milli machine and now we are going to define our Moore machine now here you see we first of all write down every present state in there q1 q20 q20 q21 q3 q40 q41 okay now we just write down now simply copy this zero state okay simply this zero state that means q3 q1 q1 q21 q41 q41 we simply copy it down then leave it uh, this output uh, part leave it now uh, just see this uh, state uh, for one we are getting q20 q40 q40 q1 q3 q3 we just write down here so uh, for 0 we are coming to this column for 1 we are coming to simply copy it down simply copy this present state in here simply copy this uh, 0 output states in here and also 1 output states in here now what will be the output now to see the output what we will do we just simply analyze this part now we don't need this one uh, if we analyze this part then we can see that if in every occurrence of q1 we are getting output 1 see q1 1 q1 1 q1 1 in every occurrence we are getting in case of q1 1 so our output will be 1 okay now q20 as as the uh, name implies we know that q20 we define because it has output 0 now still if you want to analyze then you can see that q20 and output is 0 in every occurrence uh, even though we have only one occurrence in here so q uh, 2 0 will have output 0 now q2 1 that will be 1 output q3 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 is 0 q3 0 q3 0 okay very good so we put uh, 0 in case of q3 q4 0 it will be 0 and for q4 1 it will be 1 okay easy right now uh, if we just analyze it then we can see that our initial state was uh, q1 so our uh, newly made uh, Moore machine will also have q1 as its initial state now if we know that from a simple definition of uh, fsm or concept of fsm that even if you don't apply anything over the machine or in a fsm then uh, you can also be in, in the initial state even though if you are not applying anything you cannot go to any further but uh, if you are in uh, the first step then you can only apply uh, null or epsilon then you can come there so even if uh, somebody is not applying anything uh, he or she is getting output 1 
as you can see in here so we introduced a new state uh, q0 and we duplicate everything for q1 in here like uh, q1 had uh, q3 and q20 uh, we also write q in case of q0 q3 and q20 uh, uh, only output is 0 so that means we like to define a machine where you, even if you are not uh, if you are not applying any input to the system uh, then the system uh, is giving you output 0 not one so uh, if we uh, had uh, zero in this case of q1 then we don't require any more step to further split it up as we had one here so we just write q0 q3 or q20 we just introduced a new step so this was our given uh, milli machine and this is our newly made mode machine Hopefully, this concept is clear to you guys. Okay. Thank you.